Happy Wednesday to you. This is done on a Wednesday morning on October the 11th, 2023. We are continuing our series on believing bigger, meaning who you are in Christ, having God help you identify your true self. And so this morning, I want to share with you the idea of identity, embracing who you are. This past Sunday uh, at church, I did a sermon entitled, Be True to You, Don't Give In. And mainly that means God wants you to live your authentic life. God wants you to embrace who you are because God created you to be who you are. Remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made according to the scripture in um, Psalms. And so when you begin to embrace yourself, you begin to understand who God wants you to be. Uh, Good morning, Dallas. Great to see you online this morning. Um from Louisiana talking about uh, embracing you and figuring out who you are and God is developing your identity you and I were created for a reason God created us to love us not to hate us not uh, for us to feel unworthy um, because we are love and we are divine people of God we are beloved children of God and I think that's so important because people don't think about that those of us who follow Christ we begin to believe the things that people say about us uh, in the world, regardless of what that is. And so my challenge to you is to not take those things in, to allow God to give you your identity and to embrace that identity instead. Try not to be a people pleaser, because when you become a people pleaser, you begin to give yourself away. You begin to be what they want you to be, not who God wants you to be. So as we continue a series about who God is calling us to be and how we can truly uh, be who we are, remember this one is to embrace yourself. I want to close with a scripture, and it's from Romans 12, verses 3 through 8. For by grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of yourself more highly than you ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and not all members have the same function. So we, who are many, <clears throat> are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching, the encourager in encouragement, the giver in sincerity, the leader in diligence, the compassionate in selflessness. You are a unique individual. God created you for a purpose. And God wants to help you identify who you are. So as you continue to listen to the series, whenever you listen to it, either in the morning, day, or evening, I pray that you will indeed begin to allow God to identify who you are and not the world around you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being a part of of this morning's uh, broadcast and I do hope you have a good rest of the day evening or night bye bye